Hey folks, welcome back to the Off Grid Workshop. My name is Nigel, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about Doken Power Lithium Ion Phosphate Prismatic Battery Cells. So these have a fairly uh, good popularity online, and, and when you look at forums and Facebook groups and things like that, I th believe they're quite a big distributor of these cells, and uh, therefore are fairly popular and quite widely known. And one of the big selling points of this company is that they suppose have warehouses in the UK and Europe and I believe in the US as well that they distribute their cells from and we've recently had uh, experience uh, with them trying to use their cells and, and just to see how good their products are and how good their services all that sort of stuff and uh, so we've got a bit of uh, info to report on as far as would we recommend this company are they a reputable supplier for these type of cells if you're looking to build out your own DIY lithium ion phosphate battery, uh, would we recommend buying your products from this company? And so I'm going to be covering some of the experience that we've had recently and hopefully that'll be helpful and valuable to you as you decide who you source your products from. So one of the uh, things with buying these lithium ion phosphate battery cells out of China is that you inevitably have to, uh, are gambling a little bit as far as are you going to get a decent product, is it going to be good quality, is it going to pull capacity, is it going to last, all of those sort of things. And if it does not meet what your, ex your expectations, then realistically most of the companies know that they have you uh, sort of in a, in a corner in the sense that they are not going to refund the money and uh, and make things right unless you send the cells back. And they also know the cost to ship these back to China is very high. Generally speaking, you're looking at probably a quarter of the actual value, depending on how much you actually spend on them. But let's say you spend sort of $500, realistically, you're looking at at least sort of $125 to ship the set back, probably even more actually. And so what that means is that most people land up just saying, okay, well, didn't pull capacity, maybe it's only 10% below capacity, so I can kind of live with it and I'll just deal with it. And the companies that sell you these cells, uh, they know that that's how you are gonna react, or at least nine people out of 10 are probably gonna do it that way, just because you're gonna lose so much money trying to send them back. Is it actually worth doing it or do you just bite the bullet and, and deal with it and, and have these cells that haven't pulled capacity? So uh, knowing that, that that's how a lot of the distributors of these cells operate out of China, we thought, well, let's let's try Dokan and just see how good they are. So we contacted them and said, we want a set of 280 amp hour cells from your UK warehouse. Do you have them available? And they were like, yep, absolutely. Sent them out. The cells arrived within days, probably a week. So very clearly they came from this side of the world, definitely weren't sent from China uh, because we paid very little for the shipping. So realistically, they did not send them by air from China. So it definitely came from the UK warehouse. And uh, they looked good, but it just so happened that we've had two experiences with them in the space of the last few weeks. So we got the cells out, capacity tested them, initially with a, not a high draw, but uh, higher than normal and also didn't regulate the temperature and things like that. So literally just slap the cells down on the workbench, charge them up, put capacity testers on them, discharge them at 10 amps and they did not pull capacity. I think they averaged like 263 amp hours or thereabouts and they, they were sort of stated as 280 amp hour cells. And so we went back to uh, the lady that we deal with at, at Dokan and said, this is the results. Please can you tell us how we can pull capacity from these cells? And while we were waiting for a response for, from her, we charged them back up again, put the cells in our temperature booth and discharged them at a very low amperage. I think it was like three amps or thereabouts. And they averaged about 272 amp hours of uh, capacity. And so went back to again with the same results. And this is like, we were taking videos and photos and stuff like that, showing the results. And uh, she came back eventually and was like, oh, I'm very sorry but uh, we sent you the wrong cells and actually the cells that are in our UK warehouse are not actually pulling capacity. So then I was like, well, you stated, and I very clearly, before we even purchased them, I was like, are they grade A cells? Are they brand new? And she was like, yes, they're grade A, they're brand new. 
etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, the usual sort of sales pitch from a lot of the Chinese suppliers. And so uh, obviously I went back to her and said, well, you said they were grade A and they have not pulled capacity, but now you're saying that they're not actually grade A. And as it transpires, they have had these cells in their UK warehouse for such a long time that the cells are no longer pulling capacity. So who knows how long they've actually been sitting there, two, three, four years, I don't know. And uh, that just shows they obviously shipped such a big quantity that they, they could never shift them. Uh, from the UK warehouse and so they've sat there and so obviously all of that fair enough we've got an explanation etc and now we get to the part that irks me about this whole experience obviously because it's in the UK and they have these cells just sitting there that they are selling and marketing as grade A and just probably just hoping that people won't actually capacity test them I said to them well can you just send me another set for free and I'll just have two sets for the price of one. No, they don't do that. And actually, the way that they calculate the discount, she said, okay, well, we're not gonna, we're not gonna send you a new set, and we're also not gonna give you any money back. I didn't ask her to send the sales back and then for a refund, because then obviously I have the cost of shipping them back. And I know it's within the UK, but you're still talking, you send four sales in the UK, realistically, you 30, 40 pounds of shipping costs, and we, we can actually make use of the sales in the workshop here. So uh, it wasn't that I was just, desperate to get my money back or, or get a freebie out of them, but it was also just testing their customer service to see what they're like. So I said to them, uh, can you send me a second set of cells for free in lieu of the fact that you weren't, were either you made a mistake or you were not honest when you marketed the cells to me as grade A. And she came back and said, no, absolutely not. We will not send anything for free, but we'll give you a discount. And the way that they work out their discount is a percentage discount based on the difference of how much capacity you are not getting out of your cells. So the cells are meant to be 280. We were getting an average of 266 or thereabouts, I think it was. In the end is what I said to her, we're averaging that. So she just took the, the delta and uh, calculated the percentage and then gave the percentage, which obviously is like 10% off. So not a huge discount on the, on the cost of the cells, uh, but it was just the, the tone with which the, this transaction happened just was not pleasant. And I came away from it being quite irked, to be honest, just like, man, I just, I honestly feel like I've been ripped off. I've got these cells that are not pulling capacity. And uh, this is from a UK warehouse and such a big company, but clearly this is like the, their customer service and, and, uh, and how they think you should treat customers clearly not aligned to my, what what my standards are. So fine, just uh, left that by the wayside. We've used the cells in the garage here. We basically shut down comms with them. No, we'll no longer deal with them uh, and, and won't look to use their cells for any of our products or realistically, I would not recommend buying from them. Fast forward a couple of weeks, a customer reached out to us and said, uh, I've got these, uh, I think it was like 12 cells by, from Dokan, 230 amp hour cells. And this is one of them in front of me here. Uh, would we capacity test them for him just so that he can see because he's bought them he's never capacity tested them he used he's used them a bit and would we capacity test them for him and uh, just let us know our thoughts on them and so we said yeah absolutely and so one of the cells had a terminal that had been sheared and so part of the whole process we were like well we can fix that that's no problem and so we thought well let's just capacity test them and see how they do and bear in mind he has used them a bit they've sat around a little bit they've also been shipped from china to the uk they weren't cells that he had bought from the uk warehouse etc cetera, etc cetera. so the usual story so we fixed the terminal we capacity tested them etc cetera, etc cetera. they were all 230 amp hour cells so this is actually one of them this is the one that where we fixed the terminal so we just drilled it out and then put a, a helicoil and a, and a grub screw in there for him. And so 230 amp hour cells from Dokan, capacity tested all of them, they all pulled above capacity. And these are cells that had been used, had sat around for a fair amount, had shipped from China, etc. Uh, and they pulled some of them considerably more than capacity. Some of them were like two, close to 240 amp hours and they were, they were stated as 230 amp hour cells. So very positive uh, experience as far as that was concerned. Uh, so yeah, there you go. That is my two experiences with Dokan so far. Buying from the UK warehouse, I would not recommend because it would appear that they've had the cells sitting here for a long time and they're not able to shift them the stock fast enough and the cells are degrading because they've been sitting around for so long. 
that or they're not actually grade A, but they're being sold as grade A. So that's the first issue is I would not recommend buying cells from Dokan from their UK or, or other regional warehouses apart from China probably. And uh, the other thing is uh, don't expect any better service from Dokan than many of the other Chinese suppliers. So if something is wrong, it's going to cost you as the consumer a considerable amount to put it right. So yeah, uh, overall experience, I would not recommend Dokan. They haven't been a very pleasant company to deal with, uh, but if you are lucky to get good sales from them, it would appear that their sales are actually pretty good. And so yeah, that's been my experience. One thing to note actually, I keep talking about Dokan sales, Dokan, etc. These are Eve sales, they just marketed by Dokan. Dokan is the distributor, they're not actually the manufacturer, so it's not a new manufacturer. Um, they're just a big wholesaler of, of these cells. Uh, so yeah, there we go. Hopefully that's been informative or helpful if you're considering buying from Dokan. Uh, would not recommend, but <laughs> it'll give you a bit of information to make your own decision on. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, folks. And uh, we've mentioned this uh, in previous videos, but we've got a mailing list that uh, we'd love you to join if you're interested in anything like that. We send out tips uh, and advice regularly. We try and do a weekly email with stuff that's actually helpful and useful for people. And we also often include uh, exclusive discounts that are only available to the people on that mailing list. So if you want to join that, there's a link in the top of the description down below. But otherwise, thanks for watching, folks, and we will see you in the next video. Cheers.